Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about negativity directed at Hillary Clinton, who is currently running for president. It seems that there are a lot of people out there who really dislike Hillary Clinton, and I've seen for years a large amount of negative stuff about her. And in this election cycle I see even more of it. I've particularly seen a lot of allegations that she is racist, and I see these mainly from like left-wing circles. I tend to have more liberal friends in my social circles, so I don't see as much of the right-wing criticism. But I've been disturbed by some of the stuff that I've seen about Hillary Clinton, because it seems very extreme, and I've noticed a pattern that when I look into these allegations in more depth, they are often egregiously false, and they have gross misrepresentations of what Hillary Clinton has said and done. An example of it, I recently encountered a screenshotted tweet on Tumblr. Here's the tweet. And now this comment looks really bad. It's egregiously racist. And I would not want to vote for a candidate who had tweeted something like that. But when I looked into it, I found that that was a completely fabricated tweet. It's really easy to make a fake tweet. If you go in Google and you type fake tweet generator, you will find a bunch of tools that allow you to make one. I made one myself. See, apparently Obama likes Rate T, my T website. The point is, it's really easy to do this kind of thing. So when I found that this tweet had been faked, I messaged the person who posted the screenshotted tweet, and I said, hey, like, this is a fake tweet, and I sent them a link to an article that had the full original quote with the context, and I said, I think it would be good for you to take this down because it's misleading. And I didn't receive a reply, the person left the tweet up, and it continued to get more reblogs after this. And I find this troubling, because there's this egregious misinformation circulating out there. And this pattern has actually played out multiple times. I have seen a number of allegations of all sorts of things made against Hillary Clinton, and when I look into them, a huge portion of them are false. And this troubles me. And I've come to the conclusion that a large portion of the negativity towards Hillary Clinton is based in untruth. I'm not saying that she's a perfect candidate, she certainly isn't, and even if you look in the, the factual record, you can find a lot of stuff that I don't like, you probably can find a lot of stuff that you don't like too. I think that makes sense. Any candidate who's running for a national political office who has a long track record of experience is going to have done some things that we don't like. By and large though, when I look at Hillary Clinton's record, I feel like she's a much better candidate than a lot of people think she is. Like, there are a lot of people who are talking as if she is like the lesser of two evils, like when you're choosing between Trump and Clinton. Like, people are like, oh, I don't like Clinton at all, but like, Trump is so terrible, so I'm going to vote for Clinton just because she's better than Trump. That's not how I feel at all. And I wonder if a lot of this negativity towards Hillary Clinton, and the idea that she's the lesser of two evils, is due to people reading and hearing stuff that is based on complete falsehood, just egregious misrepresentation of facts and truth. Another thing that factors into this, I looked into this site, PolitiFact, which has these rankings of the truthfulness of different statements, and there was someone who compiled all their fact-checking into a chart, and ranked all the different candidates in the primary. This is back before the primaries had been decided. So it had all the Republican candidates and all the Democratic candidates side by side. And Hillary Clinton performed one of the best on that list. And incidentally, there were some Republicans who performed very well too, including Jeb Bush and John Kasich, both of whom lost the primary. Um, Trump was ranked very, very poorly. Um, so this, to me, also reinforces that Hillary Clinton is a pretty decent candidate. Like, she certainly doesn't always speak the truth, she sometimes distorts the truth, and she sometimes says egregiously false things, but she doesn't do it anywhere near as much as the norm for other candidates. So this is another thing to consider. So I hope that I've convinced you that some of the negativity 
towards Hillary Clinton is exaggerated. And when you see something that is critical of her or critical of anyone, I think it's important to look into it. Don't just accept it at face value because you already like or dislike the candidate. Look into it. You will find that there is a big disparity. A lot of the things being said about Donald Trump are true. Uh, there are a lot of really bad things that he has said, and you can find the tweets yourself. The tweets are still up. He hasn't even deleted them. So, one big difference between these two candidates. Just something to think about. Yeah, I hope that this has given you some clarity. Thank you.